All right, today we're going to show you how to make the Wahoo Buster lure. It's a very, very effective lure, not just for Wahoo, but king mackerel, tuna, billfish, and uh, so forth. Everything out there, so the dolphin love it. It's a great lure. It features the heavy-duty Carolina Mylar. It's a good heavy-duty Mylar. It's uh, taped on both ends. It'll be silver on one side. It'll be colored on the other. And we're, today we're going to make a purple and black lure, and you'll see that this is a... Uh, uh, silver on one side also also has tape bridges. Uh, you need your chrome uh, one ounce Carolina lure head with the holographic lens eyes and a piece of soft stainless wire. And one of the reasons it's called Wahoo Buster is because between the chrome head and the wire it's a very durable lure. One of the first things we want to do is we want to try and match up the bridge to the co tying collar so we can see here that we're going to need to trim that a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and I'm going to trim this, trim this skirt down on both ends. I know from experience that's about right. We'll go ahead and trim it down. And then uh, you can make the lure as long as you want, but for this bait, we, we recommend cutting, it, cutting this skirt in half. And just take your scissors, insert it in there, fold it in half, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the purple skirt. And once again, we're gonna trim the, we're gonna trim the, the taped collar we're going to trim that down, fold it in half, go ahead and insert our scissors, or cut it into two pieces. And the first thing we want to do is we want to, you know, loosen up the, the tape bridge. We want to go ahead and remove this crack and peel sticky thing. This is adhesive on this side. And because I want the skirt to be reversed, I'm going to put the color side down. I'm going to hold it with my thumb on one end and I'm going to slowly roll the skirt onto the lure. You can see right there we've got a good purple base. It's a good Wahoo tuna and billfish color. Then we're going to take a piece of the darker Mylar and we are going to look at it. See we have a little gap right here so we're going to start our next wrap so that it covers that. You want to kind of position that and uh, once again we're going to roll it around. At this point We've got a very good looking lure, it's got sufficient skirt on it. We'll take the uh, piece of soft stainless wire, which should, uh, it comes in the lure kits. If you buy the lure kit, you get the wire, the mylar, and the heads all system matched. I hold it the way you're seeing right here, I start to wrap. And it only takes about two wraps of this wire to hold this skirt on here. You're gonna, the wire is very expensive. The stainless wire is nowadays soft stainless. Now this is not, this is not leader wire or uh, rigging wire. This is soft stainless wire. The other wire is going to have too much spring in it. It won't work. We're going to go ahead and twist it. We're going to take a pair of cutters. Once we got it down just right, we're going to cut that off even. These are designed so that it'll cut it off flat. If there's any tag end left at all, you can see that sticking up. We'll take our pliers. We'll mash it down. And as you can see right there, we have made a very effective lure that's going to catch anything that swims out there. It's a real good bait enhancer. It'll also work by itself. It's also a good dredge lure. Uh, it comes in various different head weights. We've got this head, this chrome head, in the uh, uh, this is a one ounce chrome. It's also a two ounce chrome, a half ounce chrome, and there's a three eighths chrome, and there's also a quarter ounce chrome head. But you can buy this, you can use this with a painted head, it's the same basic process. The neat thing about this is that it's not tied with line or with thread. So if a Wahoo or a King Mackerel gets on this and starts chewing, it's not going to be able to bite that, bite that wire and cause your lure to fall apart. And uh, it's a very fun rig, very fun lure to make, but that's exactly how you fit, how you make it. And uh, once again, if you, you buy them individually or even if you buy the kit, especially you're going to save money about half of what it would cost at retail. And also have the enjoyment of making your own lure.